Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Chili. Uh, I'm a research assistant in the computer lab uh, of the university. Uh, today, I'm going to present you a project around IoT devices. And uh, today, we have already seen some deployment of IoT devices around the UK. And uh, we believe that in the future, we will only see wider and larger deployment. And uh, for this project, the answer we want to answer, the question we want to answer is what are the network behaviors under the hood? And are they really reliable and dependable? And uh, for this purpose, in our experiment context, we have about a bunch of devices connected to the router we control. We run our script on the router to collect, uh, collect the traffic, uh, traffic trace, and then we do our analysis offline to see what is really happening. And for the devices uh, we bought, here are some of them. And uh, as you can see, we have got uh, some rather popular ones as Amazon Echo Dot and the Google Home Mini. And uh, we've also, also got some security cameras, motion sensors uh, in the home uh, securities and monitoring range. And for the completeness, we have also got an uh, air quality monitor and some smart plugs. And uh, during our one month and a half monitoring period, we've collected around 1.6 uh, gigabytes of data and we run aggregation uh, analysis on them to get a sense of what protocols they are used and how they use them. And we also run time series analysis on them to see whether there are uh, repeating patterns happening in the uh, communication. For the protocols, around 60% of all the traffic are in HTTPS, which means they are encrypted when transmitted uh, through internet. Uh, on the other hand, there are still 10% that is in clear test, not encrypted. And for the third point, there is only 10% of traffic that is used the protocols designed for the IoT devices specifically. And for the repeating patterns, uh, if you see a spike in the graph, that means there is a specific pattern happening in a specific period. As you can see, it really varies among devices. This is the comparison between Amazon Echo Dot and Nest Smoke Alarm. So Echo Dot shows really small, uh, little patterns, but Nest has a lot of patterns happening. And for the geographical dependency, we try to find how many countries it tries, it tr the device tries to connect during the monitoring uh, period. The variance mainly due to the NTP, which is the protocol devices use to try to get sense of time. And other than that, a uh, really small portion of the uh, devices depending on the infrastructure within UK, as you can see in the previous slide. And in, when facing internet di disruption, only two of the devices we see can still function normally. So this is to say that most of the devices still have huge dependency on the internet infrastructure to work properly. So this is really a fraction of what we've got. So what about the future? And uh, we will certainly buy more uh, devices and run the same experiment and script uh, to find out to cover larger landscape of the current market. And uh, to look closer at the results, uh, we can, there are certainly interesting questions we want to answer by looking closer at the results, the traces we've got. And uh, if you are interested, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.